This is the world's first reusable exploding disco ball. What could possibly go wrong? I'm Ruth, a patent holding inventor and maker. And I'm Sean, a designer and engineer. And we believe that kids have the best invention ideas. So join us on our mission to build kids' ideas, make mistakes, and show that anyone can be an inventor. Kids invent stuff. This is a disco ball and Poppy wants it to fire out confetti. So the first thing we need to do is work out how we're going to make it explode. Now we don't just want it to explode once, we want to be using this multiple times. So our first challenge is how do we make this explode again and again and again and again and again. Okay so we've got a ball and our idea is to cut the ball into some sections and use some of these hinges. So these are like the hinges on a door, but they have a spring in them. And we're thinking we might be able to make it so that the ball in four parts can open up, sprung loaded, and then we can fire out our confetti and hopefully reset it and reuse it again. We decided the red ball was too small, so we went bigger. So if we've got a bigger ball, we'll need bigger hinges. Working. So now we've got a large sprung loaded blue ball. The big question is how are we going to release it? So the plan is we're going to use an electromagnet and we're going to put small bits of metal on all four sections. An electromagnet is a magnet you can switch on and off. So when we run electricity through it, it will activate holding our pieces in place. Then when we switch off the power, these will release opening our ball. What could possibly go wrong? Test one of the electromagnets. It's sticking. Let's disconnect it. And... Ooh. Oh, that's really hot. Oh, that is hot. <laughs> Would you like to make a disco ball where fire rains on your head because the confetti has caught fire? So when an electromagnet is powered, it can get quite hot. And this one is getting very hot. And so we're slightly worried because we're gonna have to keep it powered up a lot of the time to make sure the disco ball stays closed. That could get hotter and hotter and anything inside the ball could potentially catch on fire. And then when you open it, that could rain down on top of your head and that's not what we want. So I think we're gonna have to look at other methods of opening and closing our disco ball. So we've replaced the electromagnet with a linear actuator, which is a motor that pushes and pulls. And we've made these little prongs on the top and each one will hold a section of our ball. And then when we power it, the linear actuator should retract, pulling the prongs down, releasing the confetti that will not be on fire. <laughs> Hopefully it's not on fire. Let's just give this a little test. Yep, that works. Yep. It screams. <laughs> it's a bit loud, but it definitely works. What was that? Ah! The final thing we need to do is, how are we going to make it disco? Disco. To do that, we're going to use stick-on mirror tiles. This might take a while, but they're so shiny. Shiny. So Disco Ball is finished and I have the perfect idea for a place to test it. So Ruth's just written a brilliant book about inventing and she was having a special launch event to celebrate it. So we thought we'd take 10 year old Poppy's Disco Ball along to test it out on some of her unsuspecting guests. And we can't have a Disco Ball without a Disco Ball light. Look at this. It's a party. Lights low. Get ready now. Centre stage. Spotlight on that ball Shining so very bright Spinning right King of the scene Disco ball, disco ball, life of the night. Pop it open, rain confetti, sweets taking flight. 
It's a blast, it's a chill, it's a glittering light. When the disco ball drop, it's a magical sight. Confetti like a rainbow, candies in the air. Sugar coated dreams floating everywhere. Grab a handful, taste, taste of joy, and fill the beat inside your soul. This is how we roll, let the disco balls glow. I think it's fair to say it went down pretty well with Ruth's guess. Who doesn't love an exploding disco ball? Thanks, Poppy. And don't forget, if you have an invention idea, you can send it to us at our website on the screen.